you know, it's it's a weird character because she's um just so selfish and also not the nicest and just it was just a fun weird girl woman to play um that I'd never really had the opportunity to play before and also play around with and you know it's just one of those characters where you show up to work and you just have fun playing with her thematically it touches upon you know the idea of being invisible and uh and then all of a sudden having attention what that attention does to a person a local news reporter very local very small town local who so desperately wants to hit the big times and go to you know the big city and be a reporter there um, so she works really hard for a story that doesn't involve a missing cat. Um, she really wants like the, the good stuff, the juicy information. So she's a little cutthroat, um, a little disconnected, and incredibly selfish. Allison is going to go down in history as one of my favorite actresses to work with. She, and also as one of my favorite people. She's awesome. She's great. She's, first of all, we all know she's very talented. So brilliant woman. But she doesn't do a thing about it. Like she still likes to have fun and she's really present in a scene. And it's, it's not like she comes in and be like, I'm going to do this and that's just what I'm going to do and here's my shtick and everyone else work around me. Like she's incredibly um, inclusive. I love Allison. She's great. Also, for whatever reason, can play a crazy person like nobody's business. I mean, Sue is a little bit quirky, and Allison in real life, oddly not that quirky, but boy, can she tap into it really well and make it be infectious and um, also relatable and sympathetic. I done one scene with Regina, and I was like, I don't wanna do this anymore because I keep laughing. And it, it, like, I don't say this lightly, there's something about her that makes me laugh, always. I've always found her to be one of the funniest actresses out there. Tate's awesome. He's like a hoot. Um, he's so supportive of his actors and he just wants to have fun and he wants everyone to play and have fun and he doesn't come in with a preconceived notion as to what the character has to be or needs to be. He very much trusts the actors that he hires and allows them to bring whatever backstory the crazy actor wants to bring to the character. He actually doesn't even care. He just wants you to have fun and enjoy and, um, and be super collaborative on set. He's great. It's weird, it's like a quirky tone. It's a little bit funny, a little bit dark, a little bit serious, and a little bit lighthearted, all in one scene. Every scene has layers upon layers upon layers because it actually deals with a really uh, messed up situation, uh, in a not in a lighthearted way, in a really dark matter, but with lighthearted dialogue. It's a very fine line. Amanda, who wrote the script, um, is going to be one of those writers that is going to go down as a specific voice. Like you'll know when you read her script that it is very much written by this one particular writer because it's in tone unlike anything that I've ever read. I hope you cry a little, I hope you laugh a little, and I hope you take a minute to reevaluate what is important to you in life. Because I think so much of this has to do with Sue's um, struggle, but also her journey to find self-worth based on things that she has in her life and desires and wants. And um, it's a really beautiful, sad story that I find I found to be incredibly relatable.